Kevin Gordon here from Autosavant.com. Uh, just wanted to post a quick video about using an external microphone with the GoPro Hero 2 HD because the sound quality is enormously different. So here you'll notice attached to my lapel slash hoodie is a external mic which typically would be used on you know in like a hip pack uh, for presentations on the stage. The one that uh, we have here is the Olympus ME15 um, which as you'll hear in a second as I take it off and go over to just the GoPro mic really greatly improves the sound on the GoPro. Um, the one issue with it is the cord is only three and a half feet long which means if you need to be much farther than I am right now from the camera uh, you need to look for something with a little bit longer of a mic and I have one of those coming in the mail uh, from Amazon uh, which should be here on Wednesday. So I will add to this video a uh, snippet with that microphone as well. So uh, I'll be right back uh, without the microphone plugged in to the camera. Okay, and here's the difference in the sound with the mic not plugged in to the camera. And just for, you know, full disclosure, this is a GoPro with the full skeleton housing, which means all the sides are open and the back is open. And, you know, I'm driving at 15 miles an hour currently, which means there's not a huge amount of exterior noise that's going to come in or anything else. So uh, just a quick final comparison. I'll jump back and forth between uh, with the mic and without the mic. And like I said, then I'll follow up this post uh, and this video with another one with another mic for comparison. So here we are with the microphone plugged in. And here it is without the microphone again. With... Without. To continue on the discussion of using an external microphone with the GoPro HD Hero 2, uh, now I have the Audio Technica ATR 3350 microphone set up. So you get an idea of how that sounds. And the big difference with this compared to the Olympus microphone is it has 20 feet of cord which means you can be significantly farther away from the GoPro. In addition, it has a small uh, battery pack, which I have to believe helps amplify the sound coming out of the mic as it travels through the much longer cord and doesn't uh, rely just on the camera to power the microphone. In here is a small, uh, you know, I think what would typically be a hearing aid battery or smaller, uh, you know, one of little puck batteries. People online, if you read the reviews of this, complain about the fact that it doesn't have any kind of indicator whether or not it's on or off. To me, it's not that big of a deal. I'm completely capable of remembering to turn on the microphone when I turn on the camera to record. So, uh, just wanted to give you the other comparison to a different microphone used externally on the GoPro HD Hero 2. I realized I might have missed the most crucial part about the difference in the two microphones I've talked about so far. And that's the fact that the Olympus microphone, when you plug it into the GoPro, only outputs mono sound, which means when you import the video into any of your video editing programs, or even look at it directly, you only get sound out of one speaker. Where this Audio-Technica microphone delivers stereo sound uh, into the GoPro, much like it would if you used the sound on the GoPro directly. So that's a major difference and a major convenience of using the Audio-Technica microphone instead of the cheaper and in some ways simpler Olympus microphone. Now, with that being said, there's a bazillion tutorials out there on the internet uh, about how to take a mono sound input and turn it into a stereo input. Fundamentally, you 
have to go through the process of detaching the audio from the video, importing the audio into a program. If you use Mac, like Audacity, you then uh, delete one of, you split the channels between left and right, you delete the one channel, copy the other one and paste it over and then assign them to left and right and then reattach it into uh, your video which is what I had been doing while using the Olympus. Uh, you know, it adds after you get used to it, maybe three or four minutes to your total time of processing your videos, which isn't a lot, but the fact that with the Audio-Technica one, you're automatically set to go is really a convenience and the sound seems to be just as good. So there you go, a quick highlight about using an external microphone with a GoPro camera. Uh, if you're interested in any of the things here, you can always visit the Auto Savant A Store, which is hosted at Amazon, where we've, you know, put together a quick list of all the pieces that we've been using uh, for your browsing pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.